And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he will hear us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests that we have asked of him. Let me repeat. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Um, yes, we pray for things, we ask for things, and we request things from God. And sometimes we get them and sometimes we do not. Um, the thing I want to pay attention to is that we focus on asking according to his will. Now, what is his will? Now, if we think about his will in the big scheme of things, the God's will is mainly that no one should perish, that everyone would spend eternity with him in heaven. And, of course, that comes through making Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. That's the ultimate will. That's the big thing that God wants us to do. But now... Each and every one of us has a different type of will on their lives. Like, for instance, I know for for me, God wills that I be a pastor. He also as well that I be a husband and a father. And as a matter of fact, he specifically told me that my wife, Melissa, was my wife before uh, we got, you know, married, started dating or any of those things. And so... Um, I know about those um, specific things that are his will for my life, okay? Um, but what I'm talking about, yeah, is, is asking things according to his will. Kind of getting so tapped in with God that it's almost like inception that um, we um, are so in tune with him, so um, tapped into him, we kind of know exactly what to ask. From him and therefore will receive it because in essence it really is just coming from him anyway and let me give you another scripture to pretty much back up what I'm saying it's John 15 and 7 it says if you abide in me and my words abide in you ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you again if you abide in me if you are completely focused in Jesus Christ, if you completely um, are in tune to his will and to his ways and are really wrapping yourself up in God, and then also, on top of that, if um, his word is in you, is thoroughly permeating your body, ask whatever you wish and that will be done for you. So, if you're completely immersed in God and completely just covered by God, if God, if, if, if God is over your life, you submitted your will to his, if Jesus is Lord over your life, and if his word is deeply rooted in you, deeply rooted in your heart, what comes out of you will become from, will come from what's in you, in your heart. So if God's word is in your heart, the word that are going to come out of your mouth are going to come from his word. That's the point I'm making is that what comes out of you will be from God. So the words that you speak, the things that you pray, the things that you ask for will be coming from God and not necessarily coming from yourself. See, sometimes we have some desires and some ideas and some wishes and some prayers that comes solely from our imagination and from our own hearts. And actually were not put there by God. They actually were not ordained by God. They were not placed in there by God. So therefore, um, those, some, those sometimes are prayers that we have that are prayers um, that are amiss, that miss the mark, that are not of God or from God. That's what um, they're trying to get away from trying to get away from the prayers that are coming from our own, our own imagination and our own heart and get our prayers to come from that place um, 
come from God. That comes from that place where we abide in him and his word abide in us. And therefore, really what we're doing is just echoing. We're just parroting God. I mean, the whole point of us is that we will be like Christ. And the only way to really be like Christ is to spend time with Christ. That you can understand his voice, understand his will. Jesus says, my sheep know my voice. And the ones who know the ones who know his voice are the ones who have spent a lot of time with him. Time in prayer, time in Bible study, time in fasting, time in praise and worship. And also time in just living a life that is surrendered to him. Presenting ourselves as a living sacrifice. Just being just consumed with God. Being enamored with him. Just, just be... Just, just be dripping and oozing God. I mean, it's just, just the way of this. It's just so covered by Him. It's so immersed in Him that we just shimmer and shine, God. It's, we smell like Him. You know, spend so much time with God that you smell like Him. That people recognize that your ways come from Him. Christians, my brothers and sisters who follow Jesus Christ, people should be drawn to Jesus through you, okay? And the way we do that is that we are so immersed, so just, uh, just so deeply rooted in Jesus. Jesus Christ, that he comes out of us through our words and our deeds and the way we love and the way we treat people. People should want to get to know Jesus Christ after having a basic conversation with us. So the more they get to know us, the more they see Christ and the more they want to seek him for themselves. If you see that it all comes back to he wants no one to perish. And we play a big part in that. Okay? That we pray according to God's will. A lot of times I find myself when I'm praying according to God's will, I'm praying for other people. Praying for other people's salvation. Praying for other people's deliverance. Praying that people... Get to spend a life now and forever in the presence of God. Nothing wrong with asking for things. Nothing wrong for being asked for asking to be delivered from things. Nothing wrong with having desires. Just understand that it's saying that if you ask anything according to his will, he will hear you. Spend as much time as you possibly can with Jesus. Spend time in his word. Spend time praying. Spend time fasting, praising and worship. Spend time presenting yourself as a living sacrifice. And make sure when you pray, you pray according to his will. Be blessed. Now, if you like that message, do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, hit the bell to make sure you get notifications every time I am on YouTube. Be blessed.